I couldn't help but giggle as I recounted the day's events to my brother. So, guess what? I began, my eyes twinkling with mischief. He looked up from his book, clearly uninterested. What now? He sighed. I told mom that I caught you trying on my panties, I said, watching his eyes widen in shock and embarrassment. And you know what she said? He swallowed hard, dreading the answer. What? She thinks it's a great idea. I exclaimed, barely containing my laughter. She says we should dress you up like a girl in all my pretty clothes. He stared at me in disbelief. You're joking, right? I shook my head, grinning from ear to ear. Nope. Mom even suggested we start with the new dress I got for my birthday. It's going to be so much fun. He groaned, burying his face in his hands. This can't be happening, he muttered. Oh, but it is. I said cheerfully. And don't worry, I'll make sure you look absolutely adorable. He peeked at me through his fingers, a mixture of horror and resignation on his face. You're really going to do this, aren't you? Of course. I replied, grabbing his hand and pulling him towards my room. Come on, let's get started. As I rummaged through my closet, picking out the most colorful and frilly outfits, I couldn't help but feel a little bit excited. It wasn't often that I got to play dress up with my brother, and this was an opportunity I wasn't about to pass up. You're going to love this, I said, holding up a bright pink dress. Trust me, he sighed, knowing he had no choice but to go along with my plan. Fine, he said, reluctantly taking the dress. But you owe me for this. I laughed, patting his shoulder. Deal, now, let's get you looking fabulous. With a mix of determination and excitement, I began the transformation. Let's start with this dress, I said, handing it to him. He looked at it apprehensively but slipped it on. As he struggled with the zipper, I helped him, smoothing out the fabric. Now for the accessories, I announced pulling out a set of hair clips and a pair of sparkly shoes. Sit down, and I'll do your hair. He sighed deeply but sat obediently as I brushed and styled his hair into cute pigtails, securing them with the colorful clips. He looked at his reflection in the mirror, clearly struggling to recognize himself. Not bad, I said, stepping back to admire my handiwork. You actually look pretty cute. Before he could protest, our mom walked in, her eyes lighting up. Oh. You both look wonderful, she exclaimed. You did a great job, sweetie, she said to me. And you, she turned to my brother, look just darling. He blushed deeply, mumbling, thanks, mom. Now, how about we go out and get you a proper girly wardrobe? Mom suggested, her enthusiasm infectious. I clapped my hands. Yes, let's go shopping. We piled into the car, my brother in the backseat, squirming slightly in his new attire. I could see he was still getting used to the feel of the dress and shoes, but I gave him an encouraging smile. You're going to be the best dressed boy, oops, I mean girl, in town, I teased. Arriving at the mall, we made a beeline for the fashion stores. Mom was in full-on shopping mode, picking out skirts, blouses, and dresses for him to try on. This will look lovely on you, she said, holding up a floral dress. And these shoes will match perfectly. He was less enthusiastic, but I could see a small part of him was starting to enjoy the attention and the process. All right, let's get this over with, he said with a resigned smile. As we moved from store to store, the salespeople were incredibly helpful, offering tips and suggestions. By the end of the trip, we had several bags full of new clothes, shoes, and accessories. Time for a break, mom announced. Let's grab some ice cream. We sat in the food court, enjoying our treats. My brother, now more comfortable in his new look, even cracked a few jokes. Who knew shopping could be so exhausting? He said, taking a big bite of his cone. You did great today, I told him. And I have to say, you make a pretty cute girl. He smiled, a bit of the initial embarrassment fading. Thanks, I guess. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. As we arrived back home, the bags filled with his new wardrobe were just the beginning of the transformation. My brother, now more accustomed to the idea, followed us inside with a mixture of anticipation and nervousness. All right, mom said, setting the bags down. Let's get you completely transformed. The first step was a new name. How about we pick out a name for your new identity? I suggested, something pretty and fitting. He thought for a moment, then shrugged. How about, Lily? He asked, looking at us for approval. 
Mom and I exchanged glances and smiled. Lily it is, I said. It's perfect. Next, we moved on to grooming and beauty routines. I sat him down at my vanity table. Time for some makeup, I announced, opening up my makeup kit. Don't worry, I'll teach you everything you need to know. I carefully applied foundation, blush, and eyeshadow, explaining each step as I went. See, a little bit of mascara will make your eyes pop, I said, holding up the wand. And a touch of lipstick for a finishing touch. He sat patiently, following my instructions. When I was done, he looked in the mirror, his eyes widening at the reflection. Wow, he whispered, I look, different, you look beautiful, mom corrected, hugging him from behind. Now, let's take care of your nails. We painted his nails a soft pink to match his new wardrobe. You'll need to keep them up regularly, I said. But it's fun, trust me. With his makeup and nails done, we moved on to hair. How about we try a few different styles? I suggested. Pigtails, braids, maybe some curls. Over the next hour, we experimented with various hairstyles until we settled on loose curls that framed his face perfectly. Lily, you look absolutely stunning, Mom said, her eyes misting with pride. The next step was to introduce Lily to our daily routines. You'll need to learn how to walk in heels, I said, handing him a pair of low-heeled shoes. It's all about balance and confidence. He took a few wobbly steps, but soon got the hang of it. Not so bad, he admitted, a small smile playing on his lips. Mom took out a new purse and handed it to him. You'll need this for your essentials, she said. Lip gloss, compact mirror, maybe a few hair ties. By the time we were finished, Lily was a completely different person. Now, let's go out and introduce the new you to the world, I said. Our first stop was a salon, where we scheduled regular appointments for haircuts and styling. The staff were wonderful, treating Lily with kindness and professionalism. Next, we visited a few boutiques where Lily could get a feel for her new style and learn how to accessorize. This necklace would look great with your new dress, I said, holding up a delicate silver chain. Lily nodded, trying it on and admiring the effect. I think I'm getting the hang of this, she said with a smile. The final step was updating her identity. Mom took care of the paperwork, and soon enough, Lily had a new ID card with her new name and photo. Welcome to your new life, Lily, Mom said, handing her the card. That evening, we had a small celebration at home. To Lily, I toasted, raising my glass. To new beginnings and a wonderful new sister. Lily smiled, clinking her glass with ours. Thank you, she said softly. For everything. This is all so new and strange, but I feel, happy. Mom hugged her tightly. We're always here for you, Lily. Remember, you're not alone. As we settled into our new routines, Lily embraced her new identity with growing confidence. She learned to love shopping trips, beauty routines, and everything that came with her new life. And as her sister, I couldn't have been prouder of how far she had come.